I'll be showing a step-by-step -step tutorial of guided practice in Reading Coach. Guided practice allows teachers to make lightweight practice assignments where students can practice reading out loud using Reading Coach, our AI-powered tool. Guided practice also gives educators lightweight analytics so they can see how those students are doing. So let's get started. First, sign in at Microsoft365.com with your teacher account. And I'm signed in here with my teacher account, and I'm gonna to go to apps and go to all apps. And by default, you're already on education here and Reading Coach is pre-installed. So you can just launch Reading Coach right from here. And now you're signed in. The other option is sign in at coach.microsoft.com. I'll show that briefly. This is the landing page for coach.microsoft.com. As an educator, you can also just click get started and sign in directly. And it's the same thing. Now, for those of you that haven't seen Reading Coach, the AI powered oral reading fluency tool, in the upper right, there's a deeper dive that shows the entire student experience. Guided practice allows educators to create lightweight practices for their students. It's not the full reading progress experience where you're in teams, you make full assignments, it's very lightweight. And there's some information about creating a practice, there's student mode so you can see what it looks like on the student side. You can have an open practice or a single passage and I'll show a couple of those different things. Now the first thing we're gonna do is create a practice. And here we're gonna give it a title, winter break reading practice. We'll set a due date. We'll put it in the new year. Now you can choose a practice type, open reading, and that means that students can do whatever they want, or you can make a single passage where you pick the passage you want them to practice reading out loud. But I'm gonna choose open reading. And the total practice time, I'd like them to practice for one hour and we'll make it 30 minutes. So I want 90 minutes of oral reading practice over winter break. Now I'll click next. That quickly creates a practice and you have a join code as well as an actual URL you could send. So join code, write it on the board, send an email, or you can send a direct link. We'll show how it works with this join code. And I will click copy. It says code copy to the clipboard. Now I'll go back here and you can see winter break practice. I haven't sent it out yet. So zero students and no one's completed it. And you can see current and past. I'll show what a full set of these assignments look like in the future. But before you send this out, you might say, gosh, what's it gonna look like on the student side? And that's where the student pivot comes in. I'll click on student. And now this loads up what it's gonna look like on the student side. So they're gonna have the ability to create a story using AI, read a passage or add your own passage. And this is the full reading coach. Again, for the deep dive video, I've got a separate one on that. I'm not gonna show the entire thing but the student will have a join practice. This is where they're gonna enter their join code. They'll be able to create a story using AI. So as an educator, if you wanna play around and see exactly what the student will see, you can do that here. But we'll flip back to the teacher pivot. And now we're gonna pretend that that teacher has given the student join code and we're really going to do this out loud as the student. So let's switch over. I'm signed in as Alex and Alex is using Reading Coach as the student. And Alex has that code from the teacher. So Alex will click join a practice. Okay, welcome to guided practice. Enter the code from your teacher. There's the code that Alex got from the teacher and he's gonna click join. Okay, and now this my practices just appeared because this is his first practice. Here's the winter break reading practice and Alex is gonna open this up and it says open reading time 90 minutes. Here's the due date. Anything you read in Reading Coach from now until the due date will count towards your goal. Great, I'm gonna get started and click homepage. Here's Alex's homepage. He can create a story using AI. He can read a passage from the library. If you go in here, there's a lot of fun ReadWorks passages he can choose from. But in his case, he's gonna create a story using AI. So I will go here. Alex selects a character. Let's choose a bear. And then the setting, and note, these are locked, so you can't actually unlock those until you've read a certain amount. So the ones that are unlocked, he's gonna have a bear at school. And he's gonna choose level three, let's say. He can even change the language. So we've got many different languages that we support. We're gonna keep it at English right now. And now Alex will click create my story. AI is gonna generate a custom chapter about bears at school. And here we go ready to read out loud. Okay, I'm gonna close this because Alex wants to customize how the passage looks. This is using immersive reader technology. So we'll change the background color. 
We'll make the font a little bit bigger. Okay, that looks good. Now Alex is ready. He's gonna click the microphone to start reading. Ready to read out loud. Okay, here's the countdown. Once upon a time, there was a big friendly bear named Benny. Benny was very excited because today was his first day of school. And we're gonna scroll really fast. We're gonna pretend that Alex has finished reading and clicks stop. Okay, now he gets to choose what happens next in the story. Benny's adventure outside or the mystery of the loud noise. Mm, I'm gonna click this one. Now AI is gonna generate my next chapter. And so you can see how Reading Coach works. We're just gonna speed up and pretend we're done here. But Reading Coach is listening to Alex read out loud. And when he's done, he'll click stop. And here's his result. So I didn't do the full reading, so pronunciation accuracy, not so good. Here are the different words I can practice reading out loud. This is Benny's big day at school, so it even gives you a little image. So Alex gets lots of practice, and he can even practice these words that he mispronounced. Next step, practice. Select any word to keep building your skills. So if I want to drill into this word. When you're ready, press the microphone and read the word out loud. Echoing. Your effort is showing. All right, I got it right. So I can go through and practice the different words out loud. Practice makes progress. And again, if you want the full demo of Reading Coach, we have a separate video on that. So now let's say that Alex has done a little bit of practice. If he goes to My Practices, it tracks total time, 18 seconds, correct words per minute, accuracy, not very good. <laughs> I didn't finish reading, but you get the idea. And if he goes into here, he can go back and keep practicing because he has a total of 90 minutes. Now what's nice is we're going to flip back to the educator to show what do those analytics look like. We're assigned back as the educator and we're under practices and you can see winter break reading practice, only one student, that's Alex. If I want to drill in and see what's happening, hmm, he hasn't completed, he's read for 18 seconds. You can see the correct words per minute and accuracy. I can drill in further and get even more details on how Alex is practicing. This is just his information. It says Alex Wilbur, last 30 days he's done, reading streaks all time. So the educator gets insights into how those students have been practicing. We're just gonna show what might this look like for an entire class now. So we're gonna flip over in the future and pretend we've seen more examples. If we speed ahead, this educator has made a bunch of different assignment practices, and you can see the different ones here. You can see the students who have done it, number completed. These have a bit more. So if I drill into November reading practice, now I've got a list of all my different students here. And similar to before, you can see things like completed, correct words per minute, and accuracy. And this gives you a much broader view of an entire set of students who have completed that practice. The last thing to show with guided practice, we're going to create another new one, and that is creating a single passage. So this is where the educator says, I'd like you to read a specific passage. So a specific passage to read in January, we'll set the due date, and that's going to be on January 16th. I will choose single passage. Now I could select a passage from the library, and that is ReadWorks passages. And note, that's only in English and Spanish, so it doesn't have all languages. You could also create a passage or write or paste your own. So if you're an educator and you want them to read a specific passage and practice that, you can do that. So we'll choose create a passage of your own. We'll give it a title and you can paste in your passage. Here's my passage about geography. I'll click next. And this is what it's going to look like. We'll hit next again. Okay, now I've put that passage out. And when Alex opens it up, it will be that geography passage. So you get a sense of how you can have students do open reading with AI generated passages and do it on their own, or you can make specific passages that you'd like them to focus on and do it that way. Hopefully this gives you a good sense of how Reading Coach works with guided practice, and this is a way to easily let your students have flexible ways to practice oral reading fluency. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel, and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.